The Bernina 790 has a beautiful mending stitch. Now, I'm usually one never to tell anybody that my machine does any mending whatsoever, but when you have to, I'm gonna show you a couple tricks and which stitches are the best. So if you go ahead, you're in your utility stitches in arrow to stitch number 22, and actually 23 is also a mending stitch with a slightly um, added underlay stitching with that little zigzag before it starts to do these back and forth stitches, we're gonna be able to control how big of a rip or opening we'll be covering with this stitch. Now, the first thing you would need is if you have a hole in something, you need something to add behind it, some interfacing, another piece of fabric, something that doesn't just leave that hole being stitched over just with the red. So even some stabilizer, like a cutaway stabilizer, could even be placed underneath. So we're just gonna pretend we've got a little opening here. You do notice that the little white dot is the location where it's gonna start. So as you're positioning around the opening, you're gonna to wanna to start in the upper left corner, maybe a little higher than where the rip actually starts. And you'll notice that there is a record feature noted. So that means as I'm stitching down, eventually I'm going to touch my reverse button and that is gonna set the length. So if the machine counted, let's say 10 stitches down, then it knows that it went, it's gonna go 10 stitches up, 10 stitches down, working from the left needle position all the way to the right needle position. We do see that foot C is the noted foot. So if you're unsure, just always touch the foot picture, see which one that yellow star is highlighted on and make sure you put that foot. There are other recommendations or other feet that will work with this technique, including foot 3A, which happens to be your buttonhole foot. That would be the one you're gonna use if you're choosing stitch number 23. So let's go ahead and stitch one of these so you can see how it works and how quick mending that process can actually be done on this machine. But psh, don't tell anybody how easy it is. So let's just pretend we've got an opening here. We've put that stabilizer underneath it and we're just gonna go ahead and stitch. Now, right now on the front of the machine, it says that it is recording. And there's a, now a little blinking reverse button symbol showing on the screen. So it's indicating you need to touch this button here when you've stitched far enough down that first line of stitching. So here I am, I'm gonna stop. Touch the button just once, don't have to hold it, just touch it. And then it's actually on the screen now says auto for that particular length. So we're just gonna watch it. You're gonna see it go at each of those needle positions from the left side all the way to the right side. If you like, you can always touch and hold the start stop button, hold it till it starts. And you don't have to keep your foot on the foot control as it finishes out this back and forth system here. So just let it finish. If your opening is wider than that stitching area, then you can go ahead and do it again. I usually overlap the first stitch or two or row of stitches, and then it, there's no uh, gap in between. All right, so you'll see they'll kind of finish right about there, some locking stitches. And then the machine is ready to stitch this again if you chose to, but let's just take a look at how pretty that is. Now you'll usually see on your fabric a slight angle as it goes, that is normal. Um, and sometimes a little bit more exaggerated depending on your fabric or what you have underneath or on the back side. But that is really, really pretty. Now, again, if you wanna do the other stitching, stitch number 20, you're gonna do the exact same thing, but put foot 3A on so it can be sensed, just like a buttonhole, how long it's actually going to be. It'll stitch kind of that underlay stitching, that kind of serpentine, and then it will continue with the stitches just like you saw on the first one we stitched. So once again, keep this as our little secret.